Hello everyone, due to popular demand, here is a full tutorial on how to use SimBrief. SimBrief is the best flight planning tool available for flight sims. It's incredible, it gives you accurate data and you can follow your flight plans and everything. It's a great tool for any flight sim and today I'm going to show you how to use it. So, first thing you want to do is go to simbrief.com up in here or use the link in the video's description, it will bring you to the same page. First step is to create an account if you haven't done so already. This is a new process now, so this is why I'm doing a, a tutorial now because it's changed. Go to login, as it's by Navigraph. So, you want to go to create an account, and you have to press here, click here, to create your Navigraph account. If you already have one, of course, you go there, and there you will sign in. But if you are new, and you have no account on Navigraph, press that blue button. Fill in all this data, register, follow the steps, and then your account will be created. So, I did mine a while back, so mine was in brief, but to, I'm going to log in. So, log in. You can log in two options. So for now, both links are available. So, because I, I did it before that date, I have to use my SimBrief account. If you did it after this date, you have to use your account on Navigraph. For me, it's SimBrief. Captain OB, login. Good. There it is. I'm now logged in. So, here's a tour of SimBrief for you. We have the About page, which is like, you know, that's all about the what they do. What's going to be interesting to you is the Dispatch page. So, firstly, we can go to My Fly Plan. Here are um, my flight plans, this is for, for my uh, stream from Doha to Athens, if you haven't seen it, check it out, that was a great stream. So yeah, so I'll do a tour of how to make a flight, so a new flight. Alright, so you get this page. At first, this looks very confusing and very busy, so I'm going to go through all the options step by step. Firstly, here is your call sign. So. I'm going to make mine to the same as my stream, so it was Qatari 207. Your three letter call sign, okay, code, so like Qatar Airways is QTR or Quebec Tango Romeo. And your flight number, so it was 2307. Use the four letter ICAO code, so my departure airport was Doha Hamad, O T H H, Oscar Tango Hotel Hotel, arriving at Athens, Lima Golf Alpha Victor. You calculate, we'll give you an alternate, that's all good. Here's your departure time, not really required as it does it in current time anyway. Airframe, so you choose your aircraft of choice. You can get custom airframes. I got a custom one for the Cyber Wire mod that you can find it online. You can scroll down here. I'll leave a link to this in the video description as well. Find the aircraft, I was flying the A321 as 200, so we're going to find that. Select it. There we go. See, some numbers will be input. So now we have a client, so all this here you can skip because it's not really required. If you wanted to enter your registration, but it doesn't really do anything really, just to make it look professional, we can, we can skip that. It's your cost index, that will be done automatically to suit the winds and stuff and the, uh, and the flight. Here is what's important. We have your, your scheduled flight time, which is four hours and 45 minutes as shown. We got our departure runway at Doha, arrival runway at Athens. We got the estimated taxi times. You can add extra fuel here if you want to, but it automatically adds your alternate stuff, so not really required. If there's any storms, you might track in, I don't know, five kilograms extra, it's up to you. If you want, you can enter your own cruise level, but it does it automatically, so you get the best wins. So I'll, I wouldn't do that, I'll leave it at auto. And I'll leave everything here at auto. Your aero cycle, if you aren't on your current cycle, and you have a paid charm account to the aero data on Navigraph, aero options, you have to log in with Navigraph, select your aero. If you have no account on Navigraph, you have to use the default aero, which is very old. Here's your route page, so you can, there's, there's, there's four routes here, you can change them up if you want, do different, oh, 
that's good. that goes over Turkey, you know, this one goes over Egypt, so you can do different routes here. You can also copy and paste them in and press analyze so it fills it out in there. And that is, is pretty much all you have to know on this page. So here's your, your route, shows you all the waypoints, see? Legal, Medigo. Once you're done, you go generate OFP, which I believe is your operational flight plan. Press yes. We'll generate now. And there we have it. This is our OFP. So, we have all of the data. Remember, we've got an airtime now. This airtime is usually spot on. So, simply with the airtime is if, if you follow the, 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 um, their fields, like their speeds and stuff, it is spot on. We've got our fuel, weights, date, route, remarks, and stuff all entered. Here's our map again of the flight plan. Here's where it all happens your OFP. We get a full on PDF. It says your plan of fuel. So here's your fuel, trip fuel, contingency fuel, alternate fuel, and your block fuel. She's the most important one. We got taxi as well. So your, your block fuel, what you will enter in your aircraft. I recommend adding a bit extra just to be safe. Fuel doesn't cost you anything in the sim world, does it? <laughs> Let's go down. We have your uh, your weights. This is important. So your zero fuel weight is listed here. In kilograms, you can go to pounds if you want. To go to pounds, it's on the um, fly plan page here, see? Units, pounds, that's how you do it. We can go back here now. There we go, so let's go back here. Lovely. So, there were our weights, you enter them in. Here are all your, your waypoints. We have your max speed. Here, 0.77. We have your Altitude, what level over there, and the winds, I think, over here. All your rep points, VOIs are listed there, and the rest is pretty much pretty complex. You don't really have to know it, but we can go through all so just a lot, a lot of text now. It's like no terms and stuff like that. It goes on for a long time. He's very professional, so this is a great tool. All this stuff you don't really need. <laughs> But here we have winds, so if you need any wind charts, they're all there. Pretty handy. Lovely. Here is where you can download your flight plan. If you have x -Plane and you want to do a company route, you press download on x -Plane 11. Follow Explorer. Uh, there we go. x -Plane, output, FMS plans, and uh, drag, oops, sorry. Up. Drag this this in there so it appears in your company route. Simple. It has options for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 as well, and all different airplanes. So there's many options here. Scrolling down, we have some weather and no terms, but this is an important part. Prefer on a network. If you're on Vatsim or IVO, Edge of Pascon. You can prefile from here. So if I find a prefile my flight plan on VATSIM, I simply go VATSIM, prefile. It will bring me to the VATSIM.net page. It's loading up right now. Here we go. All the data's in. Simply press file, file plan, the file plan, and done. File plan, file, enjoy your flight. It's so easy, guys. This is amazing. I love SimBrief, it's definitely a must have. If you want, you can print your PDF and I view it like this. It makes it look even more like, a, like the real thing, which is just insane, it's insanely good. What I reckon when you do is pair this with SimToolkit Pro, which is, I'll leave a link to the video description. I'll try and make a video about that as well, but um, more on that in the, in the, in the uh, video for it. So there it is guys, we can go to my flights, you can edit your flight as well. All my past flights, I use it a lot. For every flight I do, I'll use it to SimBrief. So, all my streams, all my routes are from SimBrief. My fleet, you can do your fleet as well. Your account, you can sort that out. So there it is, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed that tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out. That is SimBrief by Navigraph. For all Sims, it's a must have. Any questions or need any help or a little bit unsure, please, Leave a comment down below. I, I read every comment that I get. And boys, 
liking them and stuff, and always reply. Leave a comment down below. Join my Discord server. We have near, nearly 180 members of it now. Every single one of them would love to help you out as well. So join that. I should help if you need to. Screen talk competitions, giveaways, group fights, it all happens on there. Watch channel, it's a lot of fun. I stream very frequently in Explain and MCRS. So for a lot of fun on live streams, group fights and more, press the, uh, that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss when I go live and when I upload a new video. And please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It will help YouTube spread the, the uh, video with others who might not know how to use SimBrief. See you all next time.